show up and introduce you to the house of Suarez. <laughs> the show, the actual show kicks off at 8 and the, um, the, the doors open at 7. <laughs> How are you having your hair? Mine's being blow drying out later. It's going to be like this. Okay, so oh. is everybody sorting their own hair out? Yeah. 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 Myron Myron's has have silver. Myron has a movie that's going to be silver. Thank you. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it Guys, can you bring it down a little bit, please? Only one voice. Don't ride with me, you know. Oh, no. Because I'm controlling the lights as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually my idea, but it doesn't matter because it's in the studio. I remember Infinity, and I said, da I said, Darren, vote for Donna. And then I said, What you need to do is capitalise on it. Vote for Donna. Yeah. And then, and then he was like, mm, Yeah. And then, then you did kind of run away with the idea, but Thanks the seed the was planted by somebody else. playing around with the whole Vogue scene, yeah. with the Vogue dance style, and fusing it with classical dance contemporary. So, 2006 came, Homotopia gave a pot of money which helped support me paying three artists for a week to come together with ideas of fusing these different styles together. That was the first ever Liverpool as Burnham. We expected about 30 people to turn up and we actually sold out and it seated over 100 seats. Um, we actually had to turn away, I think it was 50 people. Yeah, 50 people. With that hype, it sort of gives us the, the feed to pursue more funding and to make a bigger project. I, one of the ideas that I threw at Homotopia was I've always wanted to do a huge vocal. And Gary, who's the artist director, suggested that they sort of become the executive producer which was really beneficial for me because I wouldn't have been able to financially inject that kind of money to make the event happen. I artistically you know, overviewed it. Stop modelling by then. Yeah. Stop modelling by then. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you was going into the grass in the 60 plus where I was in your <laughs> knitted jumpers and scarves. Don't Hand use that with your iron self. <laughs> Hand modelling. Aaron self, shut up. <laughs> Gary from Homotopia became the executive producer of what we call the Lillis Burn and the Grand Vocal. We also collaborated with Ducky from London and the three of us got together and created a huge success. I took a year out, sort of got my thoughts together and seen what is it that House of Suarez needs now because I'd grafted and explored for four years. Then I needed to make sure that what I was going to do and pursue for the future was going to benefit me and I wasn't going to waste time. And one of the things that did show up was that Liverpool needs a vocal. We started building all these partnerships, getting emails, starting them conversations. Then I applied for funding. Um, City Council funded the event. MDI funded the event. We got huge amounts of in-kind support. Oh yes, that look good. It was the first House of Suarez vote bar without Ducky or without Homotopia. I think for me, I. I wanted to put the House of Suarez stamp on it. Yeah. And it was kind of like with House of Suarez is a dance company, so it's gonna be a dance a event. Da it's gonna be a dance event. Tell me the children in your pool know how to party. Vogue Ball is basically made up of categories. Um, categories can be of any license, you can choose your own categories, but there are, there are some that actually are like play homage to the original Vogue Balls. Yeah. Yeah. Which is Femme Realis. And Femme Realis sort of supports those 
boys who actually look like girls with less effort than probably a girl, who can throw on a bikini or throw on a towel on their head and actually work a runway and convince people that they are that woman. Bizarre is about creativity. Bizarre is about it was about costume, I'd say, yeah. and it was about being as outlandish as kind of possible. Solo. Solo, which was dancing, which was about people going down, doing their vogue solo. Let me tell you one thing before you walk out the door. In a two piece at the beach, they say, hey, sexy. Let me tell you something, you little run over crustacean. Erotica. I don't know if we should talk about erotica because it just go I mean, a little bit too far. <laughs> sure. In fact, we've got to rename it to Triple X. To Triple, yeah. So choreography, so what we wanted to do was explore three different styles that would support the Vogue Ball. A, primarily Vogue, Whacking, which derives from Vogue, and House Dance. Yes, we are doing another one. We're just in the process of getting. We're, we're actually, yeah, we're in the process of having the meetings now to find out maybe where we're going to have the Vogue Ball, people who are going to support us. Um, funding is going so hard nowadays, so we're looking at some, maybe some commercial injections. Um, we're looking for sponsorships. Anyone <laughs> out there, please support. Um, and it's going to be called. Death by Glitter, the Vogue Ball. And Glam and Glitter, we're in a recession, and what's the best way out of a recession? Throw glitter. Spend and throw <laughs> glitter on it. <laughs> I've got no money, but I look down good. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>